Danny, I know you may know this, but every year I do a dry January. Uh, we're recording first week of January right now. For those, I listening. remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so how was how was the first week going, Rick? Well, you know, not too bad actually. This is probably the easiest year it's been so mm-hmm. far. Yeah, I think because I don't have any. I think because I don't have any. I think because I don't have any infants at home. Okay. It was harder yeah. when when they were really young and stress level was a little. Yeah, higher. cortisol was not where it needed to be, and yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So that's okay. kind of what I'm working with. May explain also why I have played really bad at golf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Last time I played. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, amount of alcohol intake makes your game any better or worse. To be honest with you. Hey, hey. <laughs> I doesn't mind. I yeah. I either. Can putt or can't yeah, but, putt. Yeah, but Rick's Irish and yeah, he alcohol, is. That's true. It's true. Alcohol makes his tremor comes Irishman. out when he. <laughs> hey, when wait he's a minute. Drinking. Now you're making me sound <laughs> like. <laughs> do better at anything. Yeah. Now, I do mean, your friends participate in this too? And I have a couple buddies. I have a couple buddies that that are in it. You know, some have already cracked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a group yeah. of friends that. That's that's. I, I got a, I got a group it's of friends. Not even that, a weekend. Yeah. Yeah, or like some that commit to like weekdays only. Well, what I see is a big issue is like you plan for this ahead of time and then like someone schedules a vacation in january that's that's why you gotta not not do that that's bad i mean january is a good month to do it because it really tests your resolve because you have college football championship oh right you have nfl playoffs coming playoffs nba games so it's a it's not talk about there it's not an easy uh not an easy feat to um to accomplish yeah but yeah i think you'll be successful yeah. Last year you were, yeah. You oh yeah. All the way this is my yeah. fourth year in a row, I think. Yeah. Nice. It's successful. It's just, good. you know, good days and bad days. <laughs> it's all about it's all about managing the stress with the kids. Does Morgan notice the difference the month uh, of mm, January compared to other months? That's a great question. I'll have to ask her. I'll ask she'll have her. To, yeah, she'll have to write into the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She doesn't talk. Morgan, to me, so. please uh, <laughs> add your comment below. Here, yeah. Here I got it. There we go. <laughs> For those listening, Brenna is texting my wife. Great. I don't know if she notices a difference. That's a really good question. Hmm. I'm sure there are things she notices. My kids say they love me more. (laughs) (laughs) Even though one doesn't talk. (laughs) My dad looks me in the eyes more. (laughs) That's funny. Oh, man. Yeah, you think the Jags are going to do it this weekend? Make it to the playoffs? You know, I obviously really rooting them for two, but at the same yeah. time, they're the Jags, so something might, something That's bad so might true. happen. The Jags. Oh, Thomas yeah. Thomas is a Titans fan, so the Jags might jag. Is he a Titans fan? Yeah, so he's from Tennessee. His, yeah, his dad's family's from Tennessee, okay. so yeah. Huh. So, so we're you going to the game? No, no, yeah. because the following day is. Or no, it's Saturday. Right? It's Saturday, Saturday night. That's right. It's like eight o'clock, I think. Yeah, on prime time. Prime time. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not going. But <laughs> can you please clip that? <laughs> Let's yes. use it for our yes. our next next episodes. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I, I can do the voiceover work. Yeah, I like that. I like that. People like hearing nasal nasally person talk. No, it's it's good. <laughs> you yeah, are so. a little nasally. I, 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 I know my really? flaws. You've always said it, and like I, I never noticed it. And <coughs> I think I was recording. Maybe it was the week that we didn't have Duncan when we. So mm. the last recording of the year. Yeah, I'd like to apologize to all the listeners out there. <laughs> Rick was. He was a little flatter. I was week. not. I was not properly caffeinated, <laughs> thanks to producer Brenna dropping the Duncan ball. You. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, Morgan said. Morgan laughed at the message. She said, "Hmm." All he does is talk about it and text with his friends, making fun of how weak they are. Overall, uh, personality is kind of the same. Yeah, that's fair. That's good. Yeah. That is, I'm not yeah. two different people. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been going to bed earlier and not falling asleep on the couch as much, which is good. Yeah, there you go. Good for you guys. There you go. Yeah, so, you know, we're productive. <laughs> see, guys show, see so. I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an a-hole with or without alcohol, I think mm. is what she's trying to... Is the two, is I didn't a two, get that. That's the too long didn't read mm. version. <laughs> I didn't get I that. I think you're reading into that. Like, yeah, you might be. I know I am. Do you he send memes of like people pouring beers to your friends? Like No, no. Slowly, they, so they like, the kind of some buddies that like bought a bunch of non-alcoholic beer. Yeah. Oh, and oh, so there was like this controversy over like, does that like does that count? Because yeah, I think there's yes. like a smidge yeah, of alcohol is, in there. There is. There is. So one of my friend's wives was making fun of them 
for being weak because that is weak. That's that's a little weak. Yeah, right. I agree. That's like what I said. Drinking they decaf coffee. Well, my, if you're well, my, well, my problem is like, why would you even do it? Why why tempt it? Right. The whole po- yeah. you know, I, I don't want to even. I want to get it out of my mind. Right. I don't even want that. The thought. My dad doesn't drink, so he drinks NA beers, and he's like, it's just, it's just not, it's just not the same. Like, mm. It's just. It can't be the it's same. Just the sad taste, and it's. Yeah, to me, it's like. At that point, just have a coffee or a tea or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have good. Or fizzy water. You guys have good Christmases. Fizzy water. Christmas was good. Yeah, we had um, Hethel's family over for two days, so it was nice. The kids all opened gifts together with uh, them and their cousins, and then headed down to South Florida, headed down to Fort Lauderdale, which is where my wife and I met. So that was fun. Nice. Got to see the old stomping grounds. Where the we plaque met. is still there, right? It is. At the right club? in front of the. <laughs> at the club. Right in front of the Irish bar. <laughs> we did. We did meet at an Irish bar, Rick. Um, so I was hoping it was like Prime One Twelve or like Live. <laughs> that, that's funny actually yeah it wasn't a fancy place this booth it was it this was kind booth of a dive is bar. where we first kissed boys and girls <laughs> it's changed a lot though if you haven't been down to fort lauderdale recently it's been a long it's, time it's yeah, probably been at least five more years more big condo buildings and i mean the traffic is terrific but we went down to miami miami has a new um huge science center down there so the kids oh cool got to go there and hang out it's right next to the Heat Stadium, oh, yeah. you know, American Airlines Arena. Nice. Now, now it's so. uh, now it's oh, it's different. Now, it's uh, so. FTX Arena, ironically. Which ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. I think they They're got their have to I, change that. Well, I think they got their money before <laughs> <laughs> that all happened. But yeah. Oh yeah. Will they have to give back that money? I don't Who know. Who knows? Mm. I don't know. That's all. That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> but it was a good trip. We drove down there. We'll probably probably fly down there next time. How, how far it drive is, is it? It's a brutal drive. Yeah. It's about four and a half, five hours. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it's but it's like 95 and boring. Yeah, it's boring. And usually there's always a wreck and a backup. It's just not a not a pleasant drive. Plus, then Miami's another hour and 45, right? Hour and a half? No, from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. It's a good hour. Yeah. It's a good hour. Yeah. Yeah, because this was like downtown Miami. Um, what was I going to say? And Vero, you know, I don't know if you're going to go on that Vero trip. We don't have to talk about that. But... uh um Planus, you, are? Yeah. you are nice that's pretty far from here too actually yeah i know I'd, we we, <laughs> we went to vero as a family last yeah. summer we did nice. like a long weekend in vero i'm gonna do a golf trip nice. it's gonna be fun yeah, that'll be fun yeah but i um, but i will be unfortunately sober for it <laughs> hey that's all right yeah it's too bad it didn't roll into february that's okay but we can still have fun i'll drive well, you know is it the end of the month or is it like middle of the month? very end of the month it's principal, <laughs> principal producer. Yeah. It's a sign of weakness if he gives in. Morgan, Morgan said she just added. She said I'm getting served ads on my Instagram for dry January mocktails and non-alcoholic beer. That's, really? Yeah. Wow. There are listening people. They're listening. That's true. That's, that's creepy. That's good. How about you, how was your Christmas trip? It was good. Stayed local. Um, went to well, went to Amelia Island for a few days bef- the week before nice. with the family. So RJ got to run around the big Christmas trees and nice. hang out down there during that cool. week. It was like so cold across the country. It was insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. Stayed local, saw family, hung out, nothing crazy. Just kids, kids loved it. They got all their stuff. <laughs> The nicest way I could put it. I guess one of them can ask for gifts. The other one, not yeah, quite yeah, yet. The, yeah. What was number one on his list? The older one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he didn't really. He's not really into like asking for gifts, but whatever you get him, he just wants. So like, mm. Mm. if like whatever Miles got, he wanted. Yeah. So it's like he's in that phase. So it's like he thought that. all the gifts were for him. Yeah. And yeah. still acts and still plays with all the gifts like they're for him. Right. Right. So, but yeah, no, he was. It was good. It was good. Yeah. It's not. What the kids asked for. Dan? Ethan wanted a lot of Legos because he he he's into them. He can he's gotten very good at building them. Like nice. those architecture sets and those like idea sets that are pretty tough. Mm-hmm. With those, like he's gotten he's gotten good at it. So he has the patience though. Yeah. Aria, you, <laughs> Aria got a bunch of Legos too, but she's different right. as Rick knows yeah. and you know yeah. she's a different personality. She'll be sitting there and she'll <laughs> be working on it by herself, and and then you hear this. <laughs> and then she just like throws a fit. And, and I love Legos. Daddy. I like, love Legos growing up. 
I love so, that. It's so yeah. therapeutic oh, yeah. to just like build so, something. So I'm like, I, I help her a lot. But uh, yeah, they got some really cool sets. So we need to actually have a dedicated space for Legos because we have like nowhere to display yeah. them. But um, And then a couple video games. He likes the Nintendo Switch. Um, Is that other the random stuff. Oh. You know. Sorry. You're good. One moment, please. <laughs> Hello? Thomas and I almost got a... Um... A Lego set because we were bored. <laughs> no, I've I've built them before, like out of boredom. Like those, like yeah, right? like yes. those huge ones. And I, I have a patient that you? that's what he's doing on treatment. Really? He built the Titanic one. No way. Yeah, it was. They have some really unbelievable. cool ones like now. We were like in Target one day, and I was like, "Let's get a Lego set." And then we were yeah. looking at the prices, and I was like, mm, well, "They're expensive. Like this They're one. expensive." Because we were like, "Well, what are we gonna do with that after?" They have those ones that are like like you can build. Um, mock-ups of like the stadiums like mm -hmm. models of the stadiums mm -hmm. and stuff they're really cool mm -hmm. hey legos are awesome my uh one of my best friend's kids he's 10 he just turned 10 he loves legos and so i was asking her i was like what is like what do they want for christmas and she's like well luke's really into legos but he's got like very expensive tastes and i was like yeah well so we found him a really cool one and we were facetiming when he opened it and he was like this that's, is so amazing he built it like a day yeah yeah it's Ethan crazy. Ethan yeah. sat and the hardest one that he got he he just sat there all day building it. Yeah, it's so it, cool. It's it's cool that because as a kid, I mean Legos were around when when we were younger, and um, I didn't have the patience. Like I wanted yeah. to do other things, mm -hmm. um, but he's kind of that that type of guy that can just sit down and just yeah. work on something. Just do it. Sorry, where were we? Or do we have enough for? A... We were just talking about Legos. No, yeah. Well, and then and then we went down on a tangent of like how yeah, different kids have different talents and things that they're interested in and fostering those talents. We got kind of deep. Yeah, we did. For nice. A second. Well, glad I, I wasn't here then. Often. Yeah, I should. I'll see myself out. <laughs> so, so I I gotta tell you guys what. So I went home the week before Christmas to Boston. And okay. My, my dad and I went to a Bruins game, which was a lot of fun. Um. But when I was there... So in the garden? The new... The, well, no, it's not the garden. In the garden. What do they call it now? TD Bank? TD yeah, I think we garden. just... Everybody just Is still, it TD Garden? No. I think everybody just still calls it the garden. But it's not the garden. It's TD Garden. Not but the garden was torn down. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Your story? Yeah, so so I, my parents just moved, and so my mom's like, you know, my mom, and she's giving me a tour of the entire house from, you know, the attic down to the basement down to the laundry room and so we go mm -hmm. downstairs into the laundry room and she's like and this is the laundry room i'm like great and i'm looking around and i see something on a shelf and i'm like excuse me what is that and she kind of got this look on her face like oh shoot you weren't supposed to see that and what it was uh -oh. was a signed 1961 patriot boston patriot football okay okay so i'm like what is this and she's like oh um yeah, we've had that forever. Uh, it was my grandfather, we called him Grumpy. It was Grumpy and gave it to Dad. I was like, no. you've just had a 1961 Boston Patriots signed football just in the house. She's like, well, I was going to sell it. It's worth some money. And I was like, you're going to sell it? <laughs> what? But what is wrong with you? Who Are signed you it? Me? Was it in like a team. case or like oh, a... Oh, like the team. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a case. Yeah. Like, it's like old, wow. like... So she's like, yeah, I mean, we have another That's one, too. Cool. I'm like, what do you mean you have another one? Dun, dun, dun. And she's like, yeah, it's over here. So she, show, so she shows me. Yeah. And that one is a 2008 signed Cardinals football from mm. when they went to the Super Bowl because my cousin played in the NFL. Oh. And he was on the Cardinals nice. in 2008. So she's got this wow. football, signed football, in a beautiful like case yeah. that she's using for a lamp stand right now in their, in their <laughs> finished basement. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Fitzgerald signature. Yeah, I was gonna say it was Fitz, Fitzgerald yeah. on there. I'm yeah. like, are you kidding me right now? Like, wow. are you kidding me? And she's like, well, you know, they're worth some money. I'm like, ship those to me immediately, please. Like, are, like yeah, uh, you want to put them in your house? Yeah, like, for what sure. You, what? That's hilarious. And so I told my dad, he's like, oh yeah, I don't care, you can have them. And she's like, I was gonna sell. I'm like, no, you're gonna sell these. What's wrong with you? So. You're like, you That's don't know the first thing ever. about selling these. Yeah, Give them I'm, like, I'm like, what is wrong with you? So I like, or, <laughs> so before I even left, I ordered like UV protection, like, oh, yeah. like display cases. Oh, and God. I'm on her, I'm on her Amazon. So she's like, are you kidding me? I was like, yeah. 
do I look like I'm getting you? No. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Nice. that was my Christmas present of nice. That's cool. by accident. But yeah, she was pissed that I well, saw Well, that would it. be cool to display in your house. I know. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Well, you have four bedrooms, so you can. I one know. can just be a, a, a shrine to boss it. Uh, well, so Thomas said that. You can just walk in and like it just smells like Duncan and street <laughs> like trash. Thomas. And then, then, then it's like, oh, great. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, we're in Boston. Oh, Thomas perfect. Said, <laughs> and then you can just have like a picture of Casey Affleck just saying, get out of here. <laughs> I love Duncan. I love Duncan. Duncan and moldy bagels. So okay, so Thomas has always said he, he's like he's like uh, we work like our house is gonna be nice like we're not gonna have a stupid sports room with all your stupid Patriots stuff. And so oh, good for on. Thomas. I like I him more got, and more every day. Shush. And so so when but, I told him, but he about wants these, a Titans room probably. He probably wants a Georgia, a Georgia. Room. Yeah, even grosser. Yeah, <laughs> that might be, that yeah, might be yeah. worse. That might be worse than Boston. But so I but so I told Go him no! about these, and it, he's like, I told you we're not having a sports room we're not having a sports room i said no you said i can have classy sports memorabilia and what's more classy than this and he's like i did say that and i was like you did so yeah but then i would also said that's not classy two signed footballs the cardinals one is pretty cool i don't i mean the the old patriots one i I mean were they good back then like i don't know it was a year after it was i I think their second year 61 was their second year yeah so they were horrible probably well yeah (laughs) but it's vintage danny i know it's vintage danny (laughs) it's like me having a vintage uh you mean old vintage one cavaliers which they weren't around probably back then but But yeah but they were that was before they were he were founded in 87 and they're one of the newer ish teams maybe I don't I can't bet you. That's a, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's, let's go to Google. I'm going to guess Cleveland Cavalier, Cleers, Cave, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers were founded in... Dry January. <laughs> uh, yeah, it turns out my speech gets worse. <laughs> Do you need another coffee? Should I cut you off? Uh, you no, did I drink that coffee would. fast. No, I didn't drink... 1970. Really? I didn't... So they were... What was it? It was ABA, right? Were they? I don't know. But that was before the NBA. NBA just was the past. No, no, the NBA has been around for a while. The NBA Uh, and the ABA merged in the late 70s. Yeah, late 70s. Okay. So were they uh, always an NBA team? Merger. Yeah, the team began as an expansion team. Ah. 1976 was the ABA-NBA merger. Oh, I went to Richfield Coliseum. Remember that place? Mm -hmm. That's where they played. Jordan and Jordan had... Yeah, so the four teams from the, the four teams from the ABA that are still in the NBA are the Nuggets, the Pacers, the Nets, and the Spurs. Ugh, all horrible teams. No, Spurs I mean, are the Nuggets good. are the best team in the West. Well, yeah, I mean, that, now they solid. are. Now they are. The Nets are on a hot streak. They're like second. Actually, the Nets. I mean, they they say they're going to be an Eastern Conference contender, which we kind of knew. If they're if they're healthy, they will be. Kyrie had some sick moves recently. Do you see a couple of those highlights? I saw his sick moves. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he yes. did. He did this this one, uh, not a crossover, but he, <coughs> kinda, he faked someone out by kind of bringing the ball to the right, going over the guy's head with the ball, and then like laying it in. It was he's he's crafty, is what they say. Crafty. Yeah. Crafty. All I'll say about Kyrie. We won't get a Kyrie tangent here. No, there's a lot of ways you can go with that. Yeah.